Hey guys, Mr. Waffline here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a quick M249 review and the winners of the 100 sub giveaway, which will be at the end of the video. Alright, to start it off, it is a primary weapon, it is a light machine gun, it of course only shoots automatic, it can be used by the security forces and by only the support classes. It does 110 damage up to 25.4 meters and then drops off to 60.6 damage at 203 meters. It has a really fast rate of fire of 775 rounds per minute. It shoots a 5.56 by 45 millimeter cartridge. It has a 200 magazine size. Now, I thought this was 100, so I always reloaded around the 100 mark, but no, it has 200, so shoot away. This gun actually has three reload times. The first one is 7.07 .07 seconds. That's uh, chambers in the round, and your bipod is not deployed. If your bipod is deployed, 7.27 seconds. And then let's say you're completely empty or actually near unloaded, it is 8 seconds. It does a half suppression rate of 50%. It weighs a ton. 7.5 kilograms. Don't expect to be rushing around with this gun. Now I'm going to start off by saying this thing is a beast. When you combine the amount of damage it has with the rate of fire and never having to reload, it is a great combination for just taking down your enemies and laughing like a madman while you're doing it. Half of the times you don't even see me aim down sights because you can just spray away. This is a spray and pray gun. Anyone who's brand new to the game, use this gun and go nuts. <laughs> As for my loadout win, I of course have the M249 with arm piercing rounds, heavy armor, and then in the later rounds I would pop on a uh, red dot sight, and then in the even last rounds I put on a frag grenade just to screw with people. As I get into the downsides of the M249, they're more controversial and opinionated than actually downsides. Uh, my first one is it only shoots tracer rounds. Uh, even if, let's say, you put on armor piercing, it's still going to have a tracer effect to it. Uh, I don't like that because I feel like it gives away my position. I wish it was just a normal bullet, but I guess that's a one way to balance the M249 since it is a little OP for the gun it is. My second, and actually last one, there's only two downsides to this gun, would be uh, the skins in the workshop. There's not that many. I chose the Crayola box with crayons as the bullets. Uh, I thought it was funny, so I chose that one. I want to see more skins for this gun. I really like it, and I would love to see that. A few suggestions when we're in the MT49. Use that bipod as much as you can. There is virtually no recoil when using it, so it's easy to down your targets, and you don't have to waste a lot of ammo. But who cares about wasting ammo when you have a 200 round magazine? Go nuts with this gun. Shoot as much as you can. Especially if you're wearing an ammo vest, you get an extra, I think, I think for the regular ammo vest, it's two mags or one mag. Uh, someone can correct me. And then for the largest vest, I think it's three mags. But go nuts, because even with two mags, that's 600 bullets. Throw them at your enemy, use that bipod, and you'll have a blast using this gun. Overall, it is a beast of a weapon, perfect newbie weapon. Like I said, if you're new to this game, use that gun. I am so glad that it is only available for three people to use on push, because this thing is crazy good if it's used correctly. Alright guys, and as for the winners of the three copies of Insurgency, there'll be three people, and what I did is I corresponded your comment with a number and then just put them in a randomizer to give everything nice and fair. Uh, first person to win would be Mr. Roy. Congratulations, man. Alright guys, winner of copy number two would be Hidaka Yo. Good thing you want a copy because now you can give it to your friend. And the winner of the last copy of Insurgency will be Wunzel Gore. Congratulations to all who won. Uh, I'll be messaging you guys through YouTube direct messages to make sure you guys still want the copies and stuff like that, and I'll send you guys the codes. They're once I give you the codes, they're your copies to do whatever with. Let's say you don't own Insurgency, you got a copy now, give them to a friend. I don't care what you do with them. Do appreciate everyone who subscribed or who will be subscribed or whatever. It's really chill of you guys. Uh, I love the support you guys give in the comment section. I love how some of you guys have different opinions than what I have in my videos and I'm always up for listening to them. You might even change my opinion in half of these videos. Thank you everyone for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe and all that smooth jazz. And I'll see you guys Sunday for another Waffle Iron Review.